our heroes. Let Shehu Mustafa Ibn Umar al kanim 1924-2009 Words cannot describe the vintage life and times of Bahamasa. Shehu Mustafa Umar Ibn al kanim the 19th Shehu of Borno, our royal father, icon of change, a selfless leader, helper, father of all, irrespective of tribe and religion, a dear gem. Words cannot describe the vintage life Bahamasa as we all fondly call him. His Royal Highness lived simple, behaved simple, related with all manner of very simple and ruled with smiles, love, peace and courage. There was no time that he ever used a stick, yet there was never a single time that he felt prevail. He judged people only through the content of their character and demonstrated an ability to make an impression on people. He was an attentive listener and untiring solver of the most trenchant problem. Born in 1924 as the fourth son of the 17th Shehu of Borno, Alaji Umar ibn Muhammad al kanani the late Shehu received his early education at Dikwa, reputed for being the second El Kenemi dynasty between 1936 and 1944. He later attended an administrative training course at Ahmad Bello University, Zaria, in 1953 to 1954, and a local government course for district heads in 1969. He commenced his public service career as an administrator in 1945 when he became the secretary of the Wali of Borno. He was subsequently transferred to various departments of the then native authority, including the police, central administration. And veterinary department as a representative Yalema of the Den Shehu. Armed with these experiences, he was elected into the Northern Nigeria House of Assembly in 1954 on the platform of the Northern People's Congress, representing the Damatru Bursari constituency. A re elected in 1959, he was also appointed as Parliamentary Secretary for Junior Minister in the Ministry of Lands and Survey, Northern Region, Kaduna, in 1961. After his political experience, he returned to Medigui in 1966 to the Central Office. In 1968, he became the district head of Mafa and subsequently Tungenze district in 1970, a position he held until he became the Shehu of Borno in 1974. At one time, he was vice president of the Sakrim Council for Islamic Affairs. The late Shehu has been in and out of the country in about the last 20 years for medical treatment to the extent that he was rumored to have passed out at a Saudi Arabia hospital sometimes in 2007. Unconfirmed reports claimed he suffered from cancer prompting a request by a hospital to ample amputate the affected leg, which he allegedly removed. Nevertheless, 
his poor health will not deter him from attending some important public functions. During the visit of the former NNPC Group Managing Director, Engineer Mohammed Eradwa, to his palace to brief the royal father on the efforts of the federal government to resume all prospection in the lectured area. A physically weak shareholder could barely be heard in his response to the GMD speech shortly before his health condition relapsed earlier last week. He was said to have cancelled some children on the virtue of honesty and peaceful coexistence among all men. By Wednesday night, he was reportedly flown to Egypt and rode Aminu Kenu International Airport, where the news of his death filtered into the city on Friday night, while the official confirmation later came from the state governor sent to Ali Modi Sharif on Saturday night in a radio broadcast. Thank you.